We've all been there. You have a very specific gap in your team which needs filling, but no matter how many assignments you set for your scouts and recruitment teams, they bring you back total irrelevant garbage. Well, today, that changes. I'm one of those people that is always looking for the most efficient way to do something, be it my Wonder Kid scouting method from FM22, which in all my tests does still work on this year's version of the game. So if you are interested in that, I'll put a link in the description to that video, to cutting through the nonsense and finding the perfect player for the role that your team needs. I actually made a video about this topic a couple of years ago, but I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. And as a result, it was a bit of a rushed mess and missed out a lot of things. And with the changes made to scouting this year, which I'm very much not a fan of, I figured it was the perfect time to return to this topic. So if you too are disillusioned by recruitment focuses and other stuff like that, then this could well be the video for you. And to be honest, even if you are a fan of those things, I still think there's stuff in here that you should get a lot out of. Especially as later in the video, we're also going to talk about how this applies to recruiting staff. And I think that's an underrated part of the game. But for now, we move! If you're like me, you often find that your scouts tend to bring you a lot of players that either won't sign for you or don't fit the roles that you set in the assignment in any way possible. And that is why I believe that manual scouting is still the best method to use, certainly when it comes to finding more developed players for very specific roles. The issue is that you can then get completely buried under a mountain of information about things that you don't need to know about a player. And when you're trying to search through, in this case, 4,000 players, that is a bit overwhelming and kind of useless, even though the game does provide some views to kind of aid you with this. There are, of course, filters that can help. However, I find that sometimes they can actually cause problems too, but we'll talk more about that in a second. Eventually, I got very frustrated with this. And so, a couple of years ago, I decided to take matters into my own hands. And so, I made these. Now, of course, those of you that have watched the streams over the last couple of years will be fairly familiar uh, with some of this. But if you do want to catch those, I'm live on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Oh, he's shoehorning for days. In case you're wondering, this is a Stuttgart save from 2035, where they're currently top of the Bundesliga with nine games to go. If you're wondering where I got this save from, uh, it's part of the Make This Your Next Save project. Uh, if you are interested in that, uh, link in the description to a video about that as well. But we move back. The view you're currently seeing is for an inside forward on attack. So let me just work you through some of this. Um, I'll sort it a bit differently so we get a bit more information. On the left side of the separators, you'll see the sort of basic player information, player's name, height, age, stuff like that, but also footedness, personality, and a determination number if it's known. And on the right hand side is more to do with their club and scouting information, such as the club nationality, ability stuff when you know it, and of course, again, transfer value when you know it. But that's not the most important bit. It's the stuff in the middle that matters the most. These attributes on the left hand side of the divider are the key attributes attributes in this case for inside forward on attack. I'll just pick a random player to show you what I mean. This is Liverpool's Alfie Hughes. With inside forward on attack selected, all the stuff in green are the key attributes that the game believes are important for the role. Those are the ones that are up here on the left hand side of those panels. All the things on the right hand side of that will be the attributes here highlighted in blue. Those are the preferred attributes that are, are not quite as important. When I was originally making these, I also added in some extra attributes for certain roles that I believed were important at the time. And I've also gone through and cleaned up some of them since, in addition to adding some new roles such as wide centre back and stuff like that. Pl roles that weren't in the game when I originally made these. So that's all now been added in. So I can hear the question come out of your mouth. Why not just use the filtering options under the search thing where you can pick certain attributes? I'll tell you why. Basically, if I were to use these and select the attributes here for an inside forward, it would exclude an awful lot of players. Now, obviously, there's the toggle here that would allow you to only match certain amounts of those attributes. However, the issue comes not from that. The issue is, if your scout does not have the knowledge at all of a certain attribute for a player, that is treated as if that attribute is essentially zero, and thus they're excluded from the search. So my point is that you could often miss out on good players just because your scouting knowledge isn't perfect of a certain player, and I feel like this is just a better way of making sure that people don't slip through the cracks. But if you were looking for a streamlined way where you didn't care so much about players slipping through the cracks, then potentially the filters in conjunction with these would actually be quite an efficient option for you as well. So that's great and all, but how does that actually help me find players? So what we're going to do here, we're looking for an inside forward on the left hand side. So I've simply set this up to look for a left sided player between the ages of 15 and 27. The game doesn't need to know we're after an inside forward. We know that and that's what matters. So the first thing that we're going to want to do now that we've set that up is to choose what we believe is the most important attribute 
attribute for the role in question. With an inside forward on attack, much like myself after a dental procedure, I love a good dribble. So with that in mind, we're going to sort this entire list of 4,000 players by their dribbling attributes. And we should be left with a list that looks, well, somewhat different. Since they're hopefully going to be in good scoring positions, I'd also quite like in this example to have good finishing on them. So I'm going to use a secondary sort to add finishing as a tiebreaker on that. Uh, and we do that like that. And now the list changes again. If you're unsure how to do that, when you've already got the list sorted by one criteria, if you hold down the shift key and then click on another of the sorting options that will then allow you to add additional sorting afterwards basically one of the reasons that i have my attribute colors set up the way that i do is so that when i'm scanning through lists like this i can look for clumps of green and blue to immediately identify potentially a good player without having to actually dive deep into the numbers straight away but once that's done i just start to scroll down that list and look for any sort of clumps of interesting colors that might stand out to me as a potentially good player so you can see this chap here uh Medi bertrand 20 years old at toulouse saw a bit of blue there which means fantastic agility great first touch finishing a little bit on the low side However, you can see that there's probably enough about him to want a closer look, particularly as he's a very young player as well. So as I'm scrolling down this list, if I see any player that vaguely catches my eye, I'll simply right click on them, go to report and get scout report for a single week on that player. It just gives you that first stage towards scouting. You'll also notice that some of the data is going to be missing for certain players due to gaps in your scouting knowledge. However, if you see a guy who may well be missing this stuff, but has fantastic attributes everywhere else, doesn't mean that this stuff's going to be great, but I think it still gives you a worthwhile starting point to potentially give him a one-week scout. And as you keep scrolling down this list, you might notice that things start to dry up quite dramatically as you get to around about here. Do not be dissuaded at this point, as that is just the secondary sort finishing. What you'll notice is as you continue to scroll, you'll then, as you can see here, be met with a clump of new information about players who's dribbling attribute didn't quite meet that 20 margin as well and you'll now find some very interesting players in here like this chap here Yusuf Gallim who's at um Eintracht Frankfurt actually in the same league as us still looks like an incredibly good inside forward on that left hand side as another example I've just scrolled a bit further down the list to see if I could find a really sort of good couple of examples for you and I've actually found a couple in here as it goes uh first one is Karin Somsry here uh this left-sided player that plays for Viking over in Norway which means as especially as he's only 21 years old he'd probably be available very cheap but his physical are outrageously good uh he's probably got well as you can see decent technicals and mentals as well and at 21 very much worth a scout he's already wanted by i believe wolves too so these are the types of players that may well have not come through your scout report but you can get a head start on them. another chap here milan petrovic over at fk sarajevo maybe lacks a little bit of the physicals but he does have some very good attributes elsewhere and i often find that actually further down the list is where you can find some of the best bargains where maybe they have don't have that first attribute at the very highest level but they could still be incredibly good players much further down this list eventually you'll notice that you've now reached the point in the sort where your original key attribute is now down to a level that you would perhaps think is unattainable because usually if you're doing scouting like this you're looking for first team quality players and not guys for the future you can still find guys for the future in here for sure but it's not really the main goal of this if you want to find those types of players as i said that other video is probably going to be much more helpful for you once you've progressed a decent way down the list you should now have in your scouting recruitment tab a lovely big list of players that are going to get that one week scout which means that you can then decide after that whether you want to action them any further and it should really just speed up that recruitment for you rather than having your scouts dicking about looking at certain leagues specifically you can just cast a much wider net ensuring that you have the widest scouting knowledge possible is also very important as this will mean when you go onto that player search screen if you have a higher knowledge of that country you're less likely to find gaps in the scouting knowledge for certain attributes and those attributes you do know about will be more narrowly defined thus making your scouting that little bit easier so making sure that you not only have good quality scouts but scouts with a very broad knowledge is extremely key as well in a second i'm going to show you how you can find those guys very quickly and i have a view like this for every single role in the game everything has been updated now to add any of the new roles that have been added to the game over the last couple of years it's even got modifiers for individual roles such as the attack versus support as that does require slightly different key and preferred attributes there is of course a link in the description where you can download these views from as a big pack if you don't know how to install views well, we're going to try and do it in one breath again, just like we did with the skin video, faster mat incoming. So you're going to want to hit the media file link in the description and it should automatically download the file for you. Then you're going to want to choose the unzipper or extractor of your choice. I like 7-zip. Unzip the files to a folder again of your choice. You're then going to want to take all of those files and dump them into my documents, Sports Interactive Football Manager 2023 forward slash views. If it doesn't already exist, please create the views folder. Once that's into the game, you're going to want to come to the scouting screen, go to the top left, hit custom, then hit import. You should see the 
interviews in here all listed in a great big list. Unfortunately, the game doesn't let you import more than one of them at a time, but you should only need seven or eight of them to really complete your tactical scouting. And we're done. Hopefully, these will help you narrow down your search for the perfect player for your role and also hopefully stop your scouts from recommending players from Real Madrid for your 10th tier English side. It won't actually stop that. They will continue to do that, but at least you get to ignore them now. Now, I promised that I would go into how you can do this with staff as well, so let's jump in. It is a very similar story with staff as well. Each of the roles for staff members have been given their own recruitment view slash filter if you like so all you need to do if you're looking for a coach for example is go up to here select staff role of coach just to make sure that you filter out the right people select the right filter and you should be presented with something a little bit like this most of them are fairly straightforward and really only contain the key attributes that you need for the role with stuff like loan manager and things like that however for roles like head of youth development director of football and things like coaching roles i've added additional stuff along with the attributes that are key for the role and that's this stuff over here featuring things like their preferred formation playing style stuff like that and i think that is an underrated element when it comes to building your backroom staff is to try to find people that are not only of a high quality but also match the style of play that you like to do especially with head of youth development to help bring through in theory players that will suit your system from the get-go on the scouting version of this view the nationality second nationality and based in columns are extremely important along with the basic attributes that you would always need annoyingly fm still as far as i'm aware does not have a column that you can add to this screen that allows you to see the actual scouting knowledge that a certain scout has like a list of the countries that they have knowledge of that would be a game changer but currently that does not exist 99% of the time if a flag shows up in one of these columns you can bet your boots that that person has some form of scouting knowledge of that nation and that means that you can get a good idea on this list of who has knowledge of where to potentially plug your gaps without having to go to each scout's individual profile to figure that information out especially on a guy like this Sebastian Arens who as you can see has Germany France and Italy which in theory means that he should have knowledge of Germany, France, and Italy, in addition to some others down here too. For me, this is just a good way of plugging holes in your knowledge because you're bound to have loads of countries that you don't have knowledge of, but if you see one of those flags when you're sorting like this, you know that you can then plug that gap with them. Obviously, if that member of staff doesn't have a job currently, it isn't going to stop them from wanting £70 billion pounds a week, uh, but that's an issue for another story. And staff use for every single role in the game can also be found in a separate download link in the description to this video. I was going to bundle them together, but I figured not everybody would want want all of one or the other so it felt best to just do it like this and they are installed in exactly the same folders and with exactly the same method as the ones for the players hopefully with all this you'll be able to find the perfect 26 year old left inside forward that plays still in the moroccan league incredibly whilst being an absolute world beater that nobody has noticed before that's the hope anyway so give the video a like subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it happy scouting i'll see you soon